It's Captain Matt, Boat Buyer's Secret Weapon. Thanks for checking out this video. We're going to do the top five bow riders. So when I talk bow riders, I'm talking your traditional family stern drive bow rider. So I'm not talking dual consoles that are at the coast with the outboards that they've been making. Even though most of these manufacturers have outboard versions, these are the, the freshwater lake stern drive bow riders. And I'm looking under 26 feet. Okay, there's you get to some of the bigger bow riders and it changes up a little bit. So let's jump in. Number five, we've got Regal. Regal makes a great boat. They've got their fast track. Um, and I've created a video, the best and worst bow riders on the market where I went to the boat show and I evaluated all of the boats and I go through all of them. So not, the, not just the top five, but uh, everything that I evaluated. Number four, we have Chaparral. Chaparral, I competed against a bunch when I sold Sea Ray. They built a great boat. They were, at the time, in, from 09 to 2013, 2014, they were very good on the looks. They had a, a great looking boat on the interiors, much more modern uh, than the, the more classic Sea Ray look. Chaparral builds a great boat. Buddy of mine just bought one this summer, and uh, he's loved it, been out with them several times. Number three, we have Sea Ray. Now, you could argue these and they could flip flop depending on the brands, C or the model. Sea Ray, I'm going to say their SLX and their uh, SDX or their Sun Deck versions. I'm going to cut out their sport boats, the ones that are made down in Mexico, um, the 21 and the 19 SPX, that sport series. They just. To me, they just don't have the quality, but the, the SLX, the 250 SLX, in my opinion, is one of the sweetest looking boats going. It's always been a favorite, and uh, I, I've sold many of those. Number two, Cobalt. My in-laws have a Cobalt, an R5. It's awesome. It is a rock-solid boat. Um, the fit and finish is fantastic, and, and I, I've almost got them at number one, but the number one bow rider under 26 feet is formula now formula they only make a 24 that's as small as they go so i almost didn't put them on the list and i have a bad taste i met some formula boat owners that are just jerks and i equate them to the brand i i know it's it's irrational i know most of formula buyers out there are great people um nice families nice nice people in general um but I, I've just I had that taste in my mouth from just pe certain people I met. You know, you you meet somebody with a certain name, and then you just equate that name with with somebody you don't like. That I was I was like that with Formula. Had some bad experiences on the water with some Formula owners, but they built an awesome boat. They snuck in with their 24. So I've got Formula for number one. Go check out the best and worst bow riders. It's a video that's out there. I will update it for 2022 when the boat shows kick off. So subscribe to the channel. Go check out that video. And remember, life truly is better on a boat.